up, Michael? All right, how are you doing? I'm good. I'm good. good. All right, so you finished your PDF. How long did it take you to write it? Um, probably a couple of days total. I mean, once I got into it. How many hours do you think? I, it's hard to say. I mean, it probably, you know, since my first one, really, maybe six to eight. Okay, that's not bad. That's not bad at all. Okay. Um, eight hours, all right, eight hours of work is going to bring you a couple thousand bucks. Really? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, of course. Absolutely. You can look at it that way every time you start dreading actually sitting down and doing it because it's it's really a brain bending exercise to write a PDF like that. How did you feel when you were finished? I felt really good about it. Yeah. Were were you glad to be finished? Uh yeah. I was, but I was kind of looking forward to another one, honestly. I thought, well, if I can do this one, I could do the one on uh, keyword research, you know, or whatever. So That's I'm right. Ready, Absolutely. Go on. Okay. All right. Good. When I go, when I do those things, I get, I get burned. Um, <clears throat> what, what happens is, is now you've got to write a sales page. Yeah. So that's going to be just as difficult as writing the PDF. Okay. And then you've got to write a JV sales page, which is not quite as difficult. Um, but you don't have to write any of that down. I'm gonna we're gonna go over what, what we're gonna do in just a minute. But so right. you basically you've got to repeat that mind bending process about five times every time you release a product. And right. and then after that five times it gets easier. You know, it's really easy. And then every time you go through that process, it gets easier and easier and easier. Okay. Uh, you'll eventually be able to write that PDF in two hours. Wow. You you will get to that point. Now, did you format the PDF and, and all that by yourself? Yeah, I, I just I just used Open Office and did did all that by myself. I didn't do an ebook cover, I just put you know, put a slap to picture up there of the hangouts. But um I don't know if I need an ebook cover or not. Yeah, but you you do. It's it's good to get one, but just go to Fiverr and get one. You can get one for five bucks. Okay. And it doesn't have to be fancy. It just has to be representative of what you're doing. All right. That's all. I mean, you're you're passing along important information. You're not writing a bestseller. Right. So it doesn't have to have a, a leather bound jacket and all that. You know. Okay. So, uh, but I went through. I just went through the PDF, and it's great information. You did okay. a great job. I don't know if you really realize how good of a job you did, but you right. actually did a great job. Okay. Um, well, thank you. Um, it's really good. Perfect length, thirty-one. It's a little technical, because, but that's because Google Hangouts are a little technical. Uh, but you showed enough images so that everybody will know what to look for and it will make it really easy for them. Okay. The, the more pictures you have in those things, the better off you are. It, it makes it easier for people to understand. So, again, you did an excellent job, a very okay. good job. Now, how did you – tell me about the process that you used to actually write it. That, like, did you create an outline first or what, – what did you do? What was your process? What I did is um – I'm trying to think back. I had read the PDF a few years ago on how to help people get out of debt, and I kind of used a format. I think it was Jason Flatland that had a 48-hour report format or something. I use that uh, somewhat, but basically what I did is I just tried to organize it into five topics, five major things, the five steps, and then just outline those five steps. You know, these are the five steps to do a Google Hangout. Uh, play a video through Google Hangouts, and I just did it like I would want. If someone were teaching me, I just did it like that. You know, this is how I would want to be taught. You know, this information. Right. Um, at the very end, I tried to use um, kind of troubleshooting. You know, because I realized people are probably going to run into snags. So here's some things you can do to overcome those snags. I mean, that's realistic. Um, and then after that. Um, I thought I might as well put an affiliate link in here, 
you know, here's some great resources, and I did your coaching program. Uh, I hope that was okay. I don't know. But. Oh yeah, well, absolutely, it, it is okay because that coaching program is exactly what you what got you to that point, right? Right, exactly. So it helped you, therefore it, it'll be helpful to others, so therefore it's okay to include it. Okay. I mean, that's that's just the way it is, and, and I mean, as long as you're helping people, affiliate links are okay. All right. You know, if you don't make a little money uh, when you're presenting information to other people, when you're trying to help other people, well, you obviously can't afford to continue to help other people, right? Exactly. I mean, yeah. businesses have to make money in order to stay in business to be there to serve their customers. Absolutely. So I think most everybody understands that and and it's okay. If they don't understand that, then they don't haven't really thought through the process of building their own business. They're they're just consumers only. Right. So well, I think it's a really good job. Uh we've still got some work to do. That's only the first step, but it you handled it perfectly. And um, uh, I think we need to shop this around to some people, to some bigger affiliates, because it would be a great uh, upsell or downsell for some other products that are out there in the market right now. Okay. Um, I'm not sure who we're going to shop it to yet, but we are going to shop it to somebody. Are you, um, are you making contacts with bigger affiliates on Facebook? Um, I haven't yet. I need to. That's one of the things I need to do because I guess I was working on the PDF and some of this other stuff. But that's on my list today, actually. To, um, I guess. Well, first of all, I was going to start with your Facebook group and you know make contacts with them. It looks like a lot of those people are doing the small business, though, if I'm not mistaken. No, actually, most of them are in affiliates. Are they? Okay. Yeah, most I of them are becoming misreading. affiliates. Yeah, and and I'm getting ready to do a big push to expand this group a little bit. Um, so you're going to have, uh, we're also going to do a webinar so we can get all the affiliates together and get everybody talking and okay. get, get to know each other because we really need to start communicating a little better. Uh, there will be some in the group who are going to be dedicated to it and there will be some that aren't and, and that's just the way it is. All right. um, so okay, let's, I, over the weekend I went through and wrote myself actually because I need to be more disciplined I wrote myself a um, uh, a weekly schedule weekly and monthly schedule it's really a four week schedule that's broken down into weeks and I want to share that with you now uh, right. if I can find it contact by the way with um, this guy I've been buying some solo ads with which I know is paid traffic but I did build my list a little bit that way because I told you I had this other list um, and I, I've kind of gotten to know him a little bit but you know I don't know if that's an advantage or not uh, it's kind of a different era, arena than what we're doing probably well if it builds a buyer's list it builds a buyer's list right right I mean I could talk to him um, it's uh, I think his name is Mikhail. I don't know his, how to pronounce his last name, or he, he might pronounce him Michelle, but he's a solo ad seller, is what he is. Okay. But he also has a list, so I don't know if that'd be beneficial or not. Well, all you can do is contact him and ask. Okay. All right, I'm going <clears> to <throat> share my screen with you right now. Okay, so in week one, okay, and week one can be any week. You know, for me, it's this week. I'm, I'm going to start this week uh, to become more disciplined so that I can actually produce the amount of content that I need to produce. All right, so in week one, we're going to create a PDF or a video series for launch in three weeks. And this is not going to be the small product. This is going to be the big product. Okay, this okay. is something we're really going to attract um, affiliates for. So we have to plan, you know, a month in advance because if you expect to uh, if you expect to recruit affiliates you need to give them at least a couple of weeks because all the really good affiliates 
are scheduling themselves two weeks out on on what they're going to promote. You know, just okay. like we've talked about in our previous meetings, I told you that one of the things you'll need to do is go to Munch Eye and find something that's two weeks out when you're launch jacking. You go to MunchEye.com and find out what's launching a couple weeks out, and you start building your campaign for that, right? Well, right. everybody else is doing that, too, because that's a good schedule. It gives them cushion in case something with their family comes up. They need a few days off. It's just good to be that way. All right, so uh, then we're going to write a sales page for that. Okay, I've, I created a product over the weekend, and today I'm going to be doing this. All right, I'm going to be writing a sales page for it, and then I'm going to set up a funnel for it. That means that means uh, the the funnel includes the sales page, the thank you page, the upsell page, um, setting up uh, Warrior Plus pages for all of those. Okay. So you know. Um, you, and you you haven't seen that yet, but I'm going to make you some videos and okay. show you exactly how to set up a Warrior Plus funnel so that you can get your affiliates in there. And uh, and and you know the more affiliates you have, the more money you're going to make. Right. All right. So uh, then we're going to promote products to our email list every other day of week one. All right, that means you're going to mail them something every other day that you think can help them and give them a chance to buy. It doesn't have to be something expensive, just something small, something seven bucks that everybody can afford. You know, maybe it's seven bucks on a dime sale. Uh, you know, you're just going to send them some information that'll help them every other day. All right, in week two. We're going to promote our launch that's going to be two weeks out. This is the same one we created in week one. All right. And how we're going to promote that is, um, we, we, well, we'll get into those details later, but basically going to be the Facebook groups and the Skype groups. All right. And then for this week, and that's something that takes, you know, 30 minutes, 45 minutes uh, a day, if that. Okay, and then we're going to create a free and cheap PDF for, for list building. Okay, it's not going to be a big, it's not going to be as big as this, but it's going to be something that helps everybody. So you're going to write another little PDF. It can be 10 pages long, 12 pages long. This is something you're going to charge really cheap for uh, or give it away for free. And if you're going to charge for it, you can sell it to your list first. And then put it up on the Warrior Forum for everybody else to buy. A little $20 launch is all it's going to take. And uh, then you're going to launch that. You know, you're know, you going to launch it, say, Thursday. You can create it on Monday or Tuesday. Launch it on Thursday. And in week two, you're still promoting other products every other day to your list. Now, this sounds like a lot of work. Guess what? It is. Okay. If you're going to break the six-figure mark, uh -huh. you know, if you're going to get to two thousand dollars a week by the six-month milestone, this is what it's going to take. All right. All right. So, in week three is going to look exactly like week two. It is just a it's a complete uh, uh, replication of week two, and then. Week four, you're going to launch this really big, I say really big, it'll be a 30-page, 35-page PDF or video tutorial, just like you created for the Hangouts. Um, this You're going to launch it at the Warrior Forum. Now, you spent three weeks uh, getting affiliates, creating buzz, all right, building your JVs up, and you're, you've been mailing them all week communicating with them or all, all month and now it's time to launch and then on launch day you're basically going to babysit your thread and answer all the questions you've got and deal with whatever technical issues that you may have to deal with and then you know after that's over you're going to have a couple of days with nothing much to do so you're going to get started right back into 
creating something for this week again. And that's when week one becomes week five and week two becomes week six and so on and so forth. So now here I have a I have a little more detailed this is the same schedule, but it's a little more detailed. So um, you know, you're you're gonna write this this tutorial. It's gonna be about traffic or list building, promoting to a list, how to write an email campaign, or it can be a case study on Bing, AdWords, Facebook, something you have experience with. You know, and something that you can sell for seven dollars, something that's simple that everybody can understand and you're going to write the sales page for it. I have a guide for you to write this sales page. And then I found a free formatter plugin that'll make this easy for you to get it up on on Warrior Forum. And then you're going to set up a funnel. I have a guide for you to set up a WSO funnel. All right? And then you're going to promote your launch to other affiliates, which means you're going to distribute launch details to the Facebook groups. I've got that list for you. You're going to distribute the launch details to, to the calendars, and you're going to distribute uh, the launch details to Skype groups. And uh, you're going to be writing emails at the same time every other day to your list. And I have you a product, or not a product, but a guide for you to write those emails. There's a little formula you can use so that everybody understands what's going on and it helps inform people, let them know if they want to buy or really don't want to buy. All right, and then again, we're going to promote this launch. It's now two weeks out. This is the, the big product you created in week one. All right, and it's the same thing. We're doing the same thing. Basically the same thing. All right, week three is going to look just like week two, and then week four we're going to launch, and you're going to keep emailing. You know, you finish your launch, and you're going to keep emailing. And I'm, I'm going to do uh, uh, just a couple of revisions to this, um, but I'll get that to you here shortly. But basically, this is your action plan for every week. And... Yeah. You're going to want to break this down into days according to your own schedule and what your own commitments are. But this is basically going to be your work month. Okay. Now I know you're you're a big picture guy. You told me that, and you you want to see, you wanted to see this. So I actually spent a few hours going through and uh, laying it all out for you. Now I didn't go down all the way down to the day because a lot of this stuff is going to uh, a lot of this stuff is going to overlap in days, and I've never had really good luck with a with an actual daily plan because okay. it just gets gets really confusing with the overlaps and all that stuff. And a lot of this stuff will be different phases of these tasks will all be going on at the same time. Okay. So you just want to have a goal of finishing it all uh, by the end of the week, except for. Uh, promoting your products every day. You'll know every other day that you've got to write an email or a couple of emails for this product that you're going to promote to your list. Alright, and so since you already have a small list, what you need to do is get your sales, this is what you need to do next personally for what you've got going right now. You need to write a sales page for the product you just created. Alright, we're going to host that. I want you to Put that sales page on your own website. Get your PayPal button in there and start mailing your list for it. This this can do a lot of good for your list. Anybody that's using YouTube videos to do promotions, we know the Google Hangouts are going to perform much, much better than just the YouTube videos themselves just because Google is given you know, just like you say in the PDF, Google is giving Hangouts more attention and more love than they're giving regular YouTube videos. So this can help anybody that's got a video online to promote a product. And I think that's a pretty dang wide audience. So we want to do a test run with your own interior, your own your own list. And um, 
you may want to do a two or three day build up, a warm up. So it'll be a three email sequence, two days to warm them up and let them know what you're about to send them and then the third day we'll actually give them a link and let them go take a look at the product. Um, really I think two days is, is really better. You give them one warm up email and then the next day's email you go ahead and give them the link and let them buy. So it's just a little heads up and then let them have it. No, nobody wants to wait really for three days these days. So that's basically what your plan is for the next couple of days. Get that sales page up and then get your emails up, uh, your, your warm up email and then your presentation email and just give me a call, get in touch with me when you have those things done and we will move on down the line. Okay. Just to recap real quick, um, on, the, on the email warm-ups, are you saying one day or two days? You said a three-day sequence. Yeah. Let's change it to a two-day sequence. Okay. One warm-up email, and then the next day's email is going to have a link in it. Okay. That's what I thought. All right. Got it. And then on hosting my own um, sales page on, on my own website, I, I don't, um, there's some technical stuff that I need to kind of go through, but um, what would I host that on? Would I host it on the, the website that I created? The yeah, you just create a, create a new page on your, on your WordPress site. Okay, all right. That's all. And do you have, you said you had a format for a sales letter, because um, I've written one, but I don't know how good it was before, or just kind of. Yeah, I do, and I'll send that to you. Okay, all right. Sounds great. Well, I really appreciate all the detail. This is great. Sure, absolutely. Glad to do it. We're gonna and we're gonna do more of it. Fantastic. You have any other questions? I had a whole list, but I think you pretty much answered them. <laughs> okay, good. Uh, no, I think that's pretty much it. I, you know, I was just wondering about my existing list I already had. So I think you pretty much told me what to do there. Yeah, you need to you mm -hmm. need to present them something that will help them. That's going to be your PDF. Charge them seven <laughs> bucks for it. And uh, prime the pump, and let's get going. Okay. Do you ever send on your list? Do you ever send relationship building emails? You know, like here's some information, and um, here's a link if you want more help on it. Or is it pretty much just promotion? Well, it's really not promotion, and it's really not just uh, relationship building. I try to build relationships with them every time I mail them. Right. And, and, you know, 25% of the time, there'll be no links in those. 75% uh, of the time, they will. But you need to try to help them. Every time, you, every time you contact your list, you need to be helping them. Right. That's how they will stay on your list. If you're just promoting for yourself to make money, uh, they'll smell that, and, and that's not what they're looking for. They're not going to follow you because... You know, they want to fill your pocket with money. They're going to follow you because you're helping them. Well, I just want to tell you real quickly what I've done this morning. Um, <clears throat> what I did this morning is, you know, I had this list, and I had this other product I was promoting before we met, the $80 per day without a website. I went through a series of eight emails in the autoresponder. On the ninth series, I just sent out a simple email this morning saying, how can I help? And then on that email, I linked it to SurveyMonkey, uh -huh. and I gave them a choice. I said, how can I help you build your business? And I said, building a list, building a website. You know, I kind of gave some choices. Um, finding a hot market, video marketing, Facebook marketing, or buying solo ads, you know, which they probably don't even know what that is if they're newbies. Um, and so then I put other. I just put in a box for other. And you know, how can I help you? I think it's a great idea. I think it's a great idea because if you don't know what your list is interested in, then you're going to waste a lot of time, their time and yours, mailing right. them about stuff they're not interested in, which means that's they're right. going to leave your list, which means you're not, it's, and that's because you're not helping them. So the best way to help them is to know what they're interested in and send them information on the things they are interested in. That's the number one name of the game. you got to give them what they want. Otherwise, you don't get what you want. Right. So it's a perfect approach. 
Okay. It's a perfect okay. approach. Well, thank you very much. I appreciate it. You got it. I'm glad to do it, Michael. If you need anything else, you can post questions in the Facebook group and the private syndicate group. Or uh, when you get your sales page written uh, in your emails, let me know and we'll go over them real quick. And we'll move it on down the line. Again, let me ask one more time. The best way to communicate with you, if I just want to like show you something, is it through Facebook, your own personal Facebook? Or? If you've got something that's private, send it on Skype. If it's not private, and most things aren't, it's best to put it on Facebook. Um, I've got so many people hitting me on Skype that I've had to turn off notifications. So I don't even look at it, you know, basically until the end of the day. Okay, so Skype is the best way to send you some stuff. Like I say, here's my sales letter and that kind of thing, or, or just. Well, you can you can put that you can put that in the Facebook group and get some get some uh, feedback from other people, from okay. your peers. That also lets them know that you've got something coming out. You're moving. You're on the move. We've got something you can promote, folks, and and. Uh, you know, get that, get the action roll, and be a leader in the group. All right, sounds great. All right, thanks, Michael. Thanks, Roger. Have a good day. See ya.